Hi there, Tobias here uh, from the Future Academy. This video, I want to address a question that I've been getting lately. Uh, you know, as we're living through the coronavirus, and uh, a lot of people are asking, is this a time to be building your brand? You know, and I guess the reason they're asking is that there is this perception that building a brand is very costly and it's kind of a long term, you know, strategic activity. And so naturally, you know, entrepreneurs, uh, small business owners, uh, people are asking, you know, shouldn't we just, uh, you know, think of sh the short term or survival? And I'd say uh, yes and no. I mean, yes, you should be thinking about survival. Yes, you, you should be thinking about short term, you know, sales. Uh, but it doesn't exclude the idea of building a brand. And, you know, uh, I always say that you should always be building brand because, you know, Building a brand essentially means increasing the attractiveness of your total offering, you know? So a brand is more than a product, it's more than a service or experience. You know, brand is everything that people, you know, all the meanings, the perceptions that people attach to you, all the value that they attach to you. So yes, building a brand can take time. It can be expensive, you know, if we, you know, talking about Coca-Cola or, or Nike or someone like that. But, you know, for the rest of us who are building brands in more maybe niche markets, it's essentially just about becoming uh, known for something that is really valuable and that sets you apart and increasing that offering. So the brand is more, you know, you can think of that more as your total offering than your marketing. Because a lot of people just think that brand is the same thing as branding. Branding is about everything you do, you know, to build a brand. The brand is always the end result, not the doing part. So the brand is your offering, which means, yes, it's always a good, you know, time to invest in building your brand, you know, and especially during hard times like these, you know, what I would do is I would make sure that I'm focusing on the most important customers that you have, the most important prospects. In other words, people, you know, for who you can do something that no one else does, you know, for who you can connect with and create value, uh, solve problems for, you know, so you don't become a commodity or just like everyone else. Because, you know, money is scarce, you know, people are holding on to their money. And therefore, you know, you need to make it really clear you know, how you're going to help people. Having a brand will always help. And especially during these times, you know, making it clear why they should trust you, what you can do for them, how you're going to make a difference is absolutely vital. There's also another thing, you know, in times of crisis where there's a lot of emotion, uh, this is a great time to invest in your brand. You know, even if you wouldn't get paid, let's say you're just creating goodwill, just doing, you know, useful, you know, creating useful content, putting it out there, serving people. So it's always a good time to increase your, your goodwill with people, your reputation. You know, just think about your brand also from the perspective of, of creating goodwill with people so that they have the right, you know, understanding and knowledge about you when they do make a purchase, when they make a choice, when they make a decision to invest in whatever it is you are, um, the industry you're in, the offering that you have uh, for them. So yes, always be investing in brand. Having said that, of course, you need to be in a survival mode right now. Uh, but the two are not opposites. Actually, they should reinforce each other. The reason why you have a brand, why you should have a brand in the first place is to make you more attractive in the marketplace, to make it clear to people who you are, what you stand for, and why they should choose you. And so don't confuse that with uh, big brand marketing campaigns and the stuff that the big corporations are doing, especially if you're an entrepreneur. Okay, well, hope that helps. And uh, I wish you are safe. I wish you um, are you know, spending time wisely to build for the future. Once this is over, you know, you want to be the one who has a strong brand, great reputation, goodwill in the market, so people are willing to choose you when, uh, when it comes down to customer choice, which is the only thing that matters for your business, essentially, whether customers choose you or not. Uh, and that is, of course, the purpose of your brand. Thanks so much for watching and uh, all the best to you.